both these heroes, of course, have one. They'll probably get the water runes just split since there's no rotations Ooh. coming yet from the supports. So we have uh, just going to have a little bit of trading for the four minute rune. But later, one thing we need to not forget is A is just. Should be fine here, does take a lot of damage, so is that you have the very classic Ember Coddle combo. And that against the Radiant Heroes, they don't have the best oh, Quinn? Uh, Quinn. He actually dies in the river, going for the said water rune. So Makoto now level five. Jabs will want to have and will need to have a BKB. Up mid though. Yeah, but we got some action on nice Quinn, but Makoto. Oh he gets still gets him! Light. Oh my goodness, but <laughs> surely they can't give this up for free. You can try to push him away a little bit, but I feel like you honestly cannot really answer this talent. Wow. Like the, the three man ball, the shield rune as ace. Trying to go for the deny. Good deny from Gets Tofu. It, and they actually TP in with ace, getting off the ravage onto two. The kinetic field with the pulse nova damage is there from Quinn, so they give up the tier one tower, but it was oh, denied. It's a big slight coming in to take out Tofu as that shield rune still activated as it jabs. Not the plasma field, but I don't think they're going to get much more. Gaming Gladiators did a lot more than I thought they would. It's the Raju actually the rotation Raccio. now as well. Gets the rupture with the blood right, focusing everything that they have on the jab. Even oh, a meteor Quinn. hammer being used, but Quinn dies first, Razor after. Bloodseeker, he just gets to continue to farm, so even after maybe not the most perfect start, getting closer to a Maelstrom. Quinn getting gone on by Makoto. There's a link from Celery though. Gets off the split earth. You can see the tombstone coming in though. Looks like Talon still want to fight. They're going to take out the Tombstone as the Rupture comes out onto Q. Stuck inside that Kinetic Field. But jabs. the damage onto Duraccio is out of control. He's just dead. First one to drop, in fact. And now Quinn trying to get something else out of this. He gets off a Lightning Storm and then dies of his own accord as well. So two cores down for Gaiman, and all they get is the Keeper of the Light. This double damage. I mean, we saw this yesterday with Quinn. Ooh, where he's getting he got him. It's a double kill for Makoto. The Blind Slight. None of these Radiant Heroes are really going to stop him, and that's when Razor really pops off. You go in there with your BKB, you latch on a target with your ult and Link, and you take that fine. But here comes Gaiman. Yep, Quinn and company, they find Ollie. There's a Static Storm. He gets off his Flesh Golem and the Tombstone. It's going to take a while to rip right through him. They do get the kill, though, as Quinn is going to get sent back with the IO for the relocate play just to be able to survive. Tofu looks to be very dead. So for now, it's a one-for-one, one, but Celery... We'll find him. They're waiting for him. He's gonna get the link onto the creeps with the overcharge to follow, but eventually Makoto gets another double kill in the game. I always wondered if somebody's gonna go for like a quick Aghanim Scepter on the, the Tide, if he would ever go for the other 10 pound. We'll talk about it in just a minute as Ollie will be caught out. Does get the Tombstone down. It's probably a little bit of slow potential as Makoto's there along with the TB, but the Ooh. Static Storm relocates on the outside of the Kinetic Field. The relocate will not go oh, through, the damage. and Quinn gets punished. Trying to take out that really annoying Undying. And it's going to cost them three members. Does? Makoto's BKB comes out. Area earlier, but Tofu will place another ward on the ground. It's all about Tofu. There's a Searing Chains first onto Duraccio. Tofu waiting in the back. They're going to get the Ravage. spot here. The Ravage is only onto two, and That's it's really zombie. just on the zombie, man. He's very dead. They get him. He's going to buy back instantly, though. Duracho gets chased completely. No fire still applies. He's going to get linked as well. And then the Big Gush coming out. Yules going to hold Makoto in place for the time being. And blood right onto a couple here. It's 23 Savage. Force Quinn is getting BKB. slapped. Maybe Quinn, no link for you, because that is reserved for Duraccio now, apparently. 70 seconds of no Lesh, and Roche is spawning in 15. He has Demon Zeal? He, he has Demon Zeal, my bro. Recall, then. Okay, they're not going to go for it. As jabs the trees, Duraccio would be a big target. There's Eye of the Storm number one with the BKB. There's the Refresher on top of it. But they don't have the slows needed. As Duraccio has a little Reload. baby relocate. It's going to be enough for him to get away. But the focus is on this Disruptor for Bing Makoto. Bong. They finally get the kill, but he does have buyback on Celery. And a lot has been expended from Talon, honestly. I feel like Gaming could actually still fight with his buyback still intact. Celery is dead. Siege creeps are absolutely destroying you. Another creep wave coming in. Maybe you reload back here, but that doesn't feel good. Like, then they can just invade you. Yeah, if they show mid, <laughs> then I think Talon just goes. But here's the fight. Oh, Jabba. Jab's first BKB. There's the Refresher to follow. He's going to get ruptured, though. Duracher trying to kill him in the meantime, taking a lot of damage as Quinn. He's not the one linked up again. He's getting countered by 23 Savage. Duracher trying to run away as Makoto chasing him down with another slide of this. He's dead. No buyback for him. Finally, the Ravage comes out, but not to much avail as Quinn is just going to drop dead as well. And Celery buying back into the game, but there's nobody to link up because all his cores are dead. 
And it looks like this might be a dieback for Celery. Triple kill for 23 Savage. Against Megas right now. They have Ravage in 12 seconds. They're showing themselves with a lot of spells, so I think Talon are going to be ready for this. In fact, they're not even going into the pit, so they're just going to fight the old-fashioned way here. They're just As, waiting. Ooh, a refresher onto Ace, though, so if you can find a good Ravage, anything can happen. The spot Makoto, the Yule, that into the Static Storm. Ravage number one from Ace, but the beat game has come out from Jabs and 23. He actually put, goes inside the tombstone for some reason. He's perfectly healthy. Duraccio able to pound down There's this Ravage. That's going to be a kill for Duraccio. Looks like Gwyn does die, buys back in the game, along with Jab. Oh my Banks god, Ace. Thunder onto Ace as he gets his second Ravage out, knowing that he cannot buy back. It's only there in a defensive measure, though, as Gaming Gladiators on the run. Their base starting to get overwhelmed by creeps. Makoto Searing going for chains, more. finds Celery. Linking up, Ooh. but the remnants are coming for you, and he will take a tumble again. But the Yules into the Split Earth. No, Makoto getting off the BKB, and at 23 Savages here with that meta form, focusing everything now onto Quinn. He does find some distance though, but now the buildings are in the way. He gets the Yules, no fire there. There's Jack with hex. the refresher, getting off the Eye of the Storm and the Nullifier, but Lesh able to get back into his base safely as a big static. Link onto Duraccio is going to provide a lot of damage for Jabs. The tier four, number two is killed. And now the Ancient fully exposed. Duraccio goes down to a casual plasma field. Buys back into the game, but with this Ancient completely exposed, this should be the end of game one shortly. A lot of splitters. Quinn, that's true. They've splitters got a lot are of people. extremely oh, annoying. Nullifier now into Duraccio. He cannot afford to die here. Oh, Big Lightyear comes out, and that's going to be the death of the Bloodseeker. A dieback. And now it looks like Quinn is next. A casual grab ally for no particular reason is used. Oh, just a Talon disappears. And Talon ga take game one. Honestly, they look damn good. Mikoto putting on a hell of an Ember show.